What's up guys? It's your boy Nightmare God 1 or Nightmare God 15 and today I have noticed that Marina is coming to the fishing is coming is gonna become mayor in like a few hours. And I was like, you know what? Marina's a fishing type of mayor. I should just focus on fishing. So here's a how to basics guide on fishing. Now to put it off simply Fishing is like any normal Minecraft fishing, except it has a few more different things to it. First off, there's treasure. Second off, there's sea creatures. Sea creatures are basically creatures that you can fish up and be like, Oh, I got something good. And they usually get like drops of like, you know, prismarine or lily pads and whatnot. Items that aren't really usually obtainable normally through mining or anything. So, how does one catch a... Sea creature. Well, sea creatures, for once, for sea creatures, give up fishing XP, but how do you catch it? Well, just to put it here, simply, you just need sea creature chance. Or you can get really lucky and fish up a sea creature without any sea creature chance, which is rare, but you might be able to get it. But how? What makes... Why do you need sea creatures? Why do you need fishing XP? Like, it's one of those skills they may not use. Well, actually, I would say you're wrong. The fishing... The fishing, uh, skill... Well, right now is probably not the best. You should work towards it, because later on... For, like, the driven mines and stuff, you will need the phantom rod. In order to use the phantom rod, you would need... Simply this. You will need the phantom rod to kill ghosts and other bosses. Like... Bosses and whatnot in different areas like Arcane and the Spider's Den. I don't think the Inner Dragon, but it, it's a, it's a useful weapon for people that are doing boss whatnot, ghost hunting and all that stuff. Now, how do you get now? Now, how do you simply how how do you ex, ex, accelerate your process of getting sea creatures? Well, there's multiple things. The first thing off is just simply by fishing up fish, normal lock fish. If you fish up at least 500, you'd be able to unlock the angler outfit. This angler out, this ain't this this angler set will usually give you the ability to take 30 damage less from sea creatures while increasing their spawn chance by 4%, which is good all around. With each element being like, which, it, which each piece also gives like 1%, so that would be at least 8% worth. Well, it's not good in defense, there's other ways to also, you know, increase your chances. Now, first off, if you're just starting off, you should just get a normal fishing rod, but that's not it. You should get a f second fishing rod, normal fishing rod, but if you've been to the Jerry event, you could be able to fish up, you know, if you've been to the Jerry event and you have enough coins, you can buy... The salty winter rod. The salty winter rod can be used to um uh well take well basically you have to buy the winter rod first and then once you get you know if you get enough ice ice cubes or whatever it's called you'll be able to actually get you know the salty reforge onto the winter rod. This will give you the ability to gain a two percent bonus on sea creatures. Now this is great for a beginner. But what makes this even better is that if Marina is nearby, or is, if Marina is mayor, you can get multiple, multiple, multiple benefits. Marina usually gives will give Luck of the Sea 2.0, which gives you a 15 a 15 sea creature chance, which is epic if you're hunting for fish and sea creatures. Now, fish, this this is probably the most crucial: the fishing XP buff. The fishing XP buff. Is useful. It will gain you 50% more fishing XP on public islands. This is beautiful because this allows you to spike, speed up the process of actually getting you know skills unlocked. And Marina is special because she gives a she starts, she starts a fishing festival each each month of three days for for three days of each month. So basically, for each month in the year. You get at least an hour of a fishing festival. Now, now, how, what does the fishing festival do? Well, fish, you, uh, 
probably more common. I haven't actually experienced it myself. But what I also know is that sharks can appear. This allows you to simply fish up sharks. Now sharks, on the other hand, give off a good amount of stuff. This allows you to create shark armor, but I will not get into that. Because shark armor... From what I understand, sharks are just gonna probably kill you. I don't know, spot unless you have some good armor, so... I wouldn't worry about sharks too much. Just start off with angle armor and that'd be the best. Now... Now, simple being, fishing is just... Now... What level does the phantom rod unlock at? It unlocks at 21, but I'm not gonna get too much into it. Now, fishing. There's not much else to say about fishing, except to increase your chances, but if you roll up enough sea creatures, you'll be able to actually unlock a special pet. This special pet will be used for, it's called a dolphin pet. If you catch up enough sea creatures, you get a dolphin pet. This dolphin pet will actually give you sea, uh, sea, some pe oh my God, sea creatures chances. This will slowly go up as the, do the pet levels up and all that. And you'll be able to increase your fishing speed. And as time goes on, the dolphin pet will get better and better and better. So as you get better things. Also, the dolphin pet is more, when it's at rare pet, rarity, the dolphin pet will then be useful when it, you're around other players. So being around other players, such as friends or just randoms, you'll be able to actually increase your sea creature chance by 2.9%, which is, well, that's the micro level, but the maximum I will show on screen right now. And the rarity, the max rarity at Legendary. Okay, so that's a simple guide on basics on how to fish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing. Baits. Baits are technically things that you can make. Some of them require, you know, different vests. Like, when you go into fishing, some of them require, you know, just... More... <laughs> There's like dark bait, there's like holy bait, um, minnow bait, uh, which isn't probably the best, but it's fast effect catch time, which if you want to just speed up the process of fishing, then go ahead. Normal fish bait would be just below, like, 30% higher. And then you, you can also get book, like, you can use, put enchantments on, like, simple enchantments. Angler, which I believe gives you angler is technically uh the 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 luck part of the luck part of sea creature chances basically looting is just the blub like it says increases the chance of mods dropping an item by 15 percent luck of the sea is increasing your chances to get treasure by blah, blah, blah. Telekinesis, we already know what that is. Lure, it just shortens the maximum time it takes to catch something by 5% or more. Blessing, which gives you double chances. Fishing. Magnet, which gives you experience or one additional active speed. Sea creatures start with 5% reduced health. Caster will give you the one, the, a small chance to consume, to not consume any bait, which is pretty good. And then spiked hook. It's probably more useful when you have a weapon such as the Phantom Rod. But if you can't get, if you have fished a little bit, but you can't get the Salt, the Vintage Rod, you can always try to, you know, upgrade your stuff with just normal, like... There are fishing rods out there that is actually useful and like... Like... Like it helps you catch more, like, you know, fish and whatnot. Like, the Challenging Rod, this is... This helps increase the efficiency by 50% and gives you a sea creature chance of 2%, which is pretty good all around. Now, one more thing. Okay, one more thing. And then I'll end this video here. Fishing rods. Well, if ever, if you ever somehow do kill, like, let's say, shark, you can turn those scales, what it was called, into shark armor. This actually allows you to actually gain more sea creature chance from what I know. I think I actually... Why do I...
basically shotgun mode is just, you know. Here we go, so here's what shock scale armor is. Basically, you kill shocks and you gain, you know. Oh yeah, you need, it requires special skill for which, honestly, you won't get to until later on, so. Just, you, you're better off just buying angle armor for now, until you get better. But, if you do manage to get this, and you don't, you can't use it yet, it just gives you double your defense, you have the ability to reflect damage on the attack and whatnot. It's just simple, you know? Well, also, you can gain, you know, strength, blah, blah, crit chance, crit damage, and then see creature chance. But yeah, that's simple enough. So yeah, that's that's it. That's it for this episode. I know it's a short, it's much shorter than normal, but hey, actually it's 10 minutes, so it's not that long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you like this quality content, if it is quality. And yeah, I'll see y'all guys later. Oh yeah, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Actually, I already said that. I meant notification bell, sorry. See y'all later.